So, we are talking to Wicked. Would you like to introduce yourselves and what you do in the band? Yes, sir, Scotty, you start. I'm Scotty B, lead guitar. Danny, I'm bass. Chad Michael, lead guitar. With, with... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, wait a second, you cannot take lead guitar. Lead guitar, man. <laughs> You better play some solos tonight, boys. And you? Vocals, lead rhythm guitar, guitar, lead yeah. guitar, rhythm vocals. And he's the lead drummer. Yeah, <laughs> he's Gunnar Costin, buddy. I'm Gunnar, I played that one. Drums. <laughs> yeah, cool, but guys. So how long have Wicked been a thing? It's like about a decade, I think. Yep, right? Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah. give or take. Yeah. Um, I think we, uh, it's always been a thing. Right? Yeah, it's always been a thing. We, uh, we're... My brother and I, Chad, started this thing um, with nobody, right? So you're like, you're like, how do we make this band that's going to be this theatrical, rock and roll, hard rock act, like the, the, the bands of the old days, like Alice Cooper, Thin Lizzy, David Scorpions, Bowie, yeah, David Scorps. Bowie, you know what yep. I mean? But like, but like do our own thing. And so uh, long story short, found this guy on the internet on like basically like an off off brand MySpace. <laughs> and then animation. It was for like rockers. He just looked really huh. good. We didn't know if he could play guitar. He came, <laughs> stayed with us ever since. And, and then, then these guys hated me we when we were growing guitar, up. We played a guy, different band and these guys hated me. He, had, so. he was he was like that it. young guy. He's the youngest, right? So like we had a different drummer initially, so he wasn't in the band we knew of him. He was like our rival. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, truth, truthfully he was always better than anybody in the area, but we'd be like, dude that guy sucks, He's man. Like, we, actually, we were at a show with him one time. We're like, we're like you suck. Yeah, I, I remember seeing Jeff. You Jeff, come over here. Come over here. Now what? you. There's, we'll, let's what, let's return the favor. There's rock stars <laughs> everywhere. Listen, listen. So, so, so now, now, fast forward. We're on tour with the incredible Vicious Rumors, oh, Raven, Lotharo, bands that are fucking top notch. I mean, they're they're killing it every night, keeping us on our toes, and uh, just good people. So it's like. It's super cool to be able to get the opportunity to come out with these legends um, and do our thing and kind of like start like all that work where we all came from, like of building this band, we've matured over the, that decade, right? Like first you want to learn how to be like a band that can play. So you go out and you want to be you rock play the stars. worst gigs possible. And, 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 and you, you cut your dues, man. You pay your dues, you cut your teeth. Jeff probably knows all about this, oh, right? Yeah. And, uh, and, yeah, all, man. and you really take I'm the lickings. I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a couple managers that take all your money. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. This, but, that, the other thing. You but but it out. over the years, like, it's cool because, like, we've matured and, like, we've kind of found our own authenticity. Um, and, like, that brings us to, like, this tour and the Sunburn album. And, like, we're super excited to, like, just be DIY, independent, Doing it ourselves the way we want to do it and controlling our own destiny. With so the help, with the with help, the help of, of this guy, Raven, we're, we're Schumer, under the mentorship guys. of uh, the uh, legends. I'll tell you, uh, Wicked stands on their own, man. These guys are so exciting to watch. And uh, Jeff's know, up front every night. Great, every great night, performers, great, great musicians, and so we're just having a blast with these guys, you know. I mean, I remember what it was like to be young and beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you still are. I, I, I remember. Uh, but fuck hell yeah, man. All right, get the fuck out of here. All right, all right. Get the fuck out of here. There's a pattern. Someone carry him out of here. <laughs> Someone carry him out of here. <laughs> so, so my question there's is... There's rock stars everywhere. <laughs> now, did you hate him because... He's a lead drummer, and at the time you just had a drummer. Yes, yeah. I, I, I you a, you wanted to transition drummer. into the lead See, drummer. The thing yes. is, that when I started that's working true. at Show World, I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. Though. <laughs> we always say, we always tell everybody in interviews, except for this one, we're like, oh no, he just like grew a little taller and grew his hair out. Yeah, and <laughs> he, he had a glow up. Sorry, <laughs> people in Rochester. Nope, it was right. a different guy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he had a little bit of a glow up. But no, the moment Gunner joined the band, we realized, oh, shit, there's four of us that all match now. And yeah, it's like, not just one. Actually, it's like, not the one odd man out. We love you, JP, Clubs, Josh, Purnell. I mean, he got hit by an arrow when he was <laughs> he was counting cards at Recipe. No, 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 no was he, was, he was counting cards down. at one of those United Nation, like, you know, casinos. The, turning stones, the natives got him. They got him with an arrow. Got just, the turning stone it was three, air, <laughs> three <laughs> flaming <laughs> arrows done. Like, <laughs> you go to his gravesite every day, but it's, you know, it's crazy. We still love you, buddy. He's okay. We, we, we love, love him. Yeah, yeah. We, we sincerely love him. So, so, so you're dressed a little differently than the rest. Ah, thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to change before you go yes, on stage? Yeah, okay. I'm so, my way so, to do that, yeah. so he's in his retirement outfit. He does. Yeah. He does the most like actual physical work. 
I mean, that's not true because I I put all of Raven's big amps in there, right? Like, oh, you carried his bass amp. Oh yeah, you. No, wait, that was you and I. Yeah, that was you and I. Was uh, okay. Yeah, you carried his base amp. Well, yeah. yesterday. Three yeah. flights of stairs flights yesterday, stairs. bud. Yeah. Listen, I do, I do yeah. all the work. I'm trying to give Gunner an excuse. So I need a little shit. bit of uh, <laughs> recognition here or something. Someone give me a, a clap. Come on. Everybody around. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You know, you Chad, know, I, I you, get win- enough, you get enough claps, Chad. I'm trying to get Gunner <laughs> claps here. Yeah. Gunner does hard work. He's like our... For, even though we have roadies, he's driver roadie. roadie. He's he's doing it all. When the, when the roadies decide it's too much and they need to take a nap, this guy's there. This guy's roadie, on the spot. Which is every night. Our roadies are, <laughs> our roadies are very sleepy. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's my excuse. I so want to be look like this. After we do this band thing, I'm gonna be a roadie. That's my dream because you get to like sleep on a you just get to sleep, see everywhere, eat everything you want, <laughs> get, get paid, 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 no freaking way! Hey, what's going on, Jeff? Hey, Jeff. Oh, another Jeff. guitar player. Another, yeah. another Jeff. I don't know if you heard of Jeff. This is the other Jeff. Yeah. This is our yeah. buddy Jeff. Who is One this? One of our favorites. Uh, One of our favorites. Last exit Just, to the loss. Yes. Last exit to the loss. Last exit to the loss. Say, say hello to everybody. So, so hello, Jeff, everybody. How you doing? Jeff yes, from Lotharo and Gunner from Vicious Rumors party with us every night. Yes, every sir. single night. That's what keeps my figure <laughs> nice and steady. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mine too. So you said when you retire from the band thing, yeah. from this band, yeah. and then they're going to go on, well, and then you're going to be the roadie for I don't know if go on them? without me, because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm the band <laughs> No, band. we're all going to be roadies. We're yeah. going to be okay. roadies for some young We're just going to be like four we're gonna, roadies. We're like, going to get paid to sleep on well, the band. Well, here's the thing. If, if, if Danny passes That's before the we do, goal. the thing is, Dan, there's going to be uh, like uh, uh, some kind of like a... Uh, a virtual reality thing yeah, of, no, of Danny, like, like he's oh, traps, man. a simulation. Yeah, like Kiss, right? Like, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be there anymore, no matter right? what, and he's going to be bossing everybody around saying, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. <laughs> like a little so, VR thing of me <laughs> just saying, like, what are you fucking doing, dude? Like, do your job. Like, so no matter what, there's yeah. always going to be a Danny death. So. <laughs> well, see, if you quit the band now and they go on and you become the roadie, then you'll get paid. No, yes, it's, exactly. it's a great theory. Dude, that's the fucking plan. <laughs> you're, you're my new manager. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's the magician words over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking we need in this band. So you just released a new record. Yes. Is that your first record? Second. 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 Okay. First one was Last American Rock oh, Band. Um, two that years was ago. Two years ago. 2021. Or and um, 2022. And oh, while we were doing that session <laughs> with our man. producer, Nacho <laughs> Molino, from Panama, <laughs> dude's got like 10 Grammys, like super goofy looking really tall <laughs> awesome dude <laughs> his <laughs> ears for a sound engineer it makes beautiful. sense his ears like, he looks like Dumbo the elephant yeah, he's like, beautiful <laughs> stop but he, they cut all the sound he's a the and they cut like this but, <laughs> but in, all, in all seriousness very talented and we're brother, super yeah, lucky we to be him. like brothers and friends with him um, and, and working with him of course but um, it's cool we got a little formula small crew good team and uh, we cut both records Sunburn's finally out, and after this, we're ready for the third one at the end of the year. Yeah, so, really? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to give you any more hints than the fact that it's that, done it's, already. It's yeah. done already. It's going to be coming. We got to get the you know the next tour slash whatever we're doing planned. But music videos, artwork, that's all the stuff. Yeah, the music's be, done. It's amazing. It's it's a next evolution. But, but Sunburn wicked. was really cool because it was like it's kind of like our e break on like what we were doing. You know, like. Around like the whole like pandemic thing, all those years we were just like living together, trying to be a band and like learn how to like do things like a real band would do. Um, and oddly enough, probably the only band that's still living together and like doing everything together. But we uh, we we did Sunburn and it was super cool because like we were like let's just be authentic. If we want to pull an influence from like metal or like maybe we're listening to progressive stuff like Toto or the Tubes. Yep or some power pop, it doesn't really matter. There's no lanes for us. We're independent. We can do whatever we want to do. If it makes us happy and speaks to us, we're just going to throw it into the blender, you know, and see what comes out. And at the end of the day, it's funny because we always make it super hard, rock and, and fun and entertaining. And so, like, we're out there playing this tour with all these metal bands, and uh, you got the guys out there like, I'm so fucking tough. Like, you guys suck. You got blonde hair. We're just poison. And then all of a sudden we play our set and they're like, dude, you guys are really good. And it's like, love you guys, man. We appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. No, I call them out too. So. Yeah. And Chad gets really mad when they don't do that. I make them do something, I make them get involved. I don't even look at them. I'm just like, 
<laughs> this, is, like, this is snobby Scotty. Um, he's in the department of no eating and shredding his abs. So, um, and it's also this tour. There's a few different names for this tour. This is the All Hell's Breaking Loose tour. If, if you're looking at Ravens um, marketing, oh boy. we redubbed it for our own purposes as a, it's Summer Somewhere tour. For which, Sunburn. just so you not know, here. it's not, not here. here. No, no, no. It's I'm not here. It wasn't in We're, Toronto yesterday either. So. Yeah, and, and then and then <laughs> and then you got the the drummers and douchebags tour, which all goes towards the fact that all of the drummers think that they're in charge of this tour, <laughs> which they are because they're the smartest ones, but they're douchebags. So, <laughs> yeah. so it kind of fits. I'm probably it's on the fitting. bottom. I'm on the like the bottom tier of that. I, so, <laughs> you're, you're you're working your way up the douchebag. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna someday. someday you'll be at the point where you just tell people what to do, like, <laughs> like somebody else. <laughs> so, so so what's been the best moment of this tour so far? Oh God! I think well, um, I mean I mean obviously like playing the whiskey is like one of those like highlight. But even things. even better than playing, I think it's been like these like unique people that you meet everywhere. Yes, like, I mean for sure you could start easy and be like, oh cool, we met the guy who was in uh, all the Adam Sandler movies. Peter, Peter Dante, Dante. Shout that's out to Unc- Uncle Dante. Uncle Dante. Uncle Dante. <laughs> we love <laughs> like, Uncle Dante. He was cool because like we were just like jamming on acoustics at the Rainbow and like just improv like taking our songs. And he was singing over it and like kind of like jiving with us. That was super cool. I never thought I never thought that I'd be singing and playing music with the uh, the quarterback from the Waterboy. Yeah, but that's what happened. <laughs> it's insane. It was or, so the, or the cop from Grown Ups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even but even all that starstruck like you know essence aside, like it's I think it's the best part is really just being able to like learn from all these great bands and. Uh, and like you always think that you're at the top of your game, which we pride ourselves in our hard work, but there's always something to learn. So like you're out on the road and you gotta be like humble and mindful of like what you could learn from everybody and in all seriousness and like we appreciate what these bands and like the road has brought us on this tour. It's really cool. Absolutely. Yeah. I would just like to say it's about forty degrees. Either you or you have shirts on. It, <laughs> how funny how, cold how, how cold let's, let's show off a little bit. I'm, He's I'm, not even cold. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, yeah technically, you don't have a shirt on either. It's yeah. kind of buttoned up a little. Look at I can cut diamonds <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> so aren't you glad you're not in stage here? I'm freezing my ass off right now. Actually. <laughs> really, you need to take your shirt off and right. then go. Yeah. 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 Right. Where, where's the best social media to follow you guys on? Okay. Hit him with it. Wicked Rock and Roll. And the website's wickedrockandrollofficial.com. Yeah. Follow us. Subscribe to the YouTube. Um, we've got tons of music videos, tons of content we're pushing out there. Um, you know, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. It's all the same tag. Wicked Rock and Roll. Um, and, and look, at, at the end of the day, here's the thing. It's like kind of like what we've been talking about here. Whether you're a metalhead, a rock and roller... Maybe you're in a fucking indie band. I don't know. Like, we, we just did our album release at Water Street like a month and a half ago, and we had like some really cool bands that were indie, like, you Love know, it. pop yeah, rock. Yeah. Six and like, band, at the end of the know? day, yeah. it's about making the scene and getting away from your shitty ass lives and having an escape for a little while. Community, right? You come together, have a good time. That's what it's all about. Support live music. Exactly. That's what it comes yes, down sir. to. Yep. All right. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you having us, man. Thank you. Absolutely.